What's up guys? Milo here again. Um, as mentioned in the previous video um, that I was gonna talk about Matterport and KR Pano. Um, so this is that video. So basically I bought a Matterport Pro 2 and uh, as you can see the one on the left was uh, produced with Matterport Pro 2. Um, hide my face. Um, difference is and the one on the right, uh, we shot using uh, Sony A7 with Canon 815. Um, let me pull up a picture of that. Wait. Pause first. So this is a photo of the camera we used uh, for the tour on the right. And this one is a mat the one on the left is a Matterport Pro 2. Um, so the difference, well, of course, Matterport is faster to produce. You scan it. Uh, less than an hour, we're able to scan this thing. And then upload. I don't know. So within two hours, I think, it's it's ready. Um, only thing I hate about Matterport is it, it this uh, blurs the down shot and the up shot. Um, we have more control on that on the one where we shot using a DSLR. Uh, so mirrorless. Um, we blurred this intentionally because the client doesn't want to show the store stores near the booth. Um, of course, you can shoot more with Matterport because it's it's as easy as pressing a button and uh, everything is automatic. Um, what I want, what I like about Carepano is we can customize the animation for this. So I'm the one who specifically told the camera to look at that part um, when somebody clicks on that. So yeah, more on customizations. Um, I think Matterport is best for real estate, like for units that, you know, um, secondary, like you're, you're selling it. It's a, somebody owned it and you're selling it um, for, for new condos, new houses. Um, I think uh, it's still best to use a uh, mirrorless or DSLR for shooting them. Um, this is not a finished product yet and uh, we're gonna do a lot of customizations here like when you click on this uh, a pop-up will appear and some HTML code will run. So we, we can't do that with the Matterport because um, uh, you're too tied into the to the system. You're, you're limited to what, what you can do. Um, I believe there are third-party providers where you can do some customization, but uh, I don't want that because I want to be able to do it by on myself because uh, uh, I can code. Um, but yeah, I do appreciate Matterport's, uh, you know, um, how easy it is to produce. But uh, uh, at the same time, I'm quite quite uh, frustrated with the pricing because it, uh, it's too limiting, it's too expensive. Um, yeah, so um, as mentioned, one thing we wanted to do why we got the Matterport was to get the data. So basically, the dollhouse or the 3D model we used for this KR Pano was based on what we got from uh, Matterport. Um, if you go to Matterport, you can buy the data. Um, it's, uh, forty nine dollars. Um, I'm just sign signing. Just pause for now. So I'm signed in already. So let's take a look at that space. Um, so here, add-ons. You can buy that data. So I bought that data. I get the uh, XYZ point cloud the OBJ. I haven't explored this all yet. Um, but uh, let's go through what you get. Uh, mother pack. So this is what it contains. So as you can, um, we weren't able to do the dollhouse yet because it's um, as we're still not sure how to do that. But of course, with Matterport, you can switch to dollhouse. But um, I mean, we could do it because we're able to do it in this project. But this is a three D project, so. Um, but we produced the 3D data here because uh, we were using 3ds Max. So uh, I'm still not sure how to do that if it's an actual place and I use the Matterport to scan it. 
Um, I've seen a guy, um, where did I see that? Let me just look for it. There, I found it. So, this guy, um, Quentin Gat Gatchon, uh, not sure how to pronounce his name, he was able to extract that matter for data and produce the, the dial house as well. Oh, it's gone. Anyway, uh, it's quite amazing because you can now self-host, um, but fortunately, they put it down. Uh, but I uh, hope to figure that part out. Um, but for now, yeah, I, I could do this animation, but uh, I'm not yet sure how to use the Matterport data to do the dollhouse. Um, but um, just to show you what it looks like, so the OBJ file is here. If you open this, this is what you'll see. Just the data. So you can see there's a lot of, you know, um, extra stuff, extra polygons that you won't need. So what the, so you can open this in uh, another 3D software. So I opened it in Lumion just to, to play around with it. And uh, this is how it looks like. So it's already textured, but as you can see, the lines are funky because it's not a, it's not a LiDAR scanner. I think what it does is for maybe combination of photogrammetry and uh, other, I don't know, other type of technology that runs in their cloud. Um, so what we did was, we didn't use this, but uh, I have a 3D guy who used this as a guide so he can use the 3D, create a 3D data for Carapano. Um, let me show you uh, how it looks like. Pause for now. Um, so this is the OBJ file that uh, my 3D guy did for me based on that uh, OBJ from Matterport. So as you can see, the, the lines are finer. Um, there's no extra polygons. So we wouldn't have been able to do this without that guide from Matterport. So it's still, I mean, in terms of process, it's still, I guess, too cumbersome. We have to shoot using a mirrorless and then switch to Matterport just for the 3D data. As mentioned, I, I wanted another device to do this, like the BLK360, but uh, it's too expensive. So for now, we'll live with this. So whenever we have shoots, like a condo or a house, where we need a dollhouse or create 3D transition of, we're going to shoot using our mirrorless and we're then we're going to follow up with the Matterport. Um, just because we want to be able to edit photos and we like the quality of the mirrorless bit more than Matterport. So, yeah, um, hope you learned something. Um, makes you, you know, decide better if Matterport is broke for you. Um, for us, so right now, the use of Matterport is providing that 3D data. We need to create uh, 3D transitions and hopefully the dollhouse soon, just to be able to do it on Carapano. Because uh, what we love about Carapano is self-hosted, um, no monthly fees, and uh, it's uh, customizable and you can code it. You can basically do whatever you want that can be seen on a website. So yeah, thanks for, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something.